What's good, everybody? It's your man, D.L. Saint. How y'all feeling? Oh, man, we're in the middle of the holiday season, man. Like, uh, Christmas is coming up. You know, Thanksgiving is in the rearview mirror, and New Year's is coming up. So uh, I hope you guys are prepared for that. Um, this is the time of year where um, those people who are lonely really feel it during this time of year. So why did I bring that up? Because I don't want to make this a negative thing, post or whatever, but... AI girlfriends have uh, hit the marketplace and it's hitting hard. Uh, Spencer Coronelia, I'll, I'll link in the description below to the show that I'm referencing now, but Spencer Cornelia, he's out of Vegas. He does a lot of really good exposés. I got to give it to him. You know, he, he really does a good job. Uh, he has a little a piece out about the AI girlfriend thing. And bro, there are female influencers out there right now making sixty, seventy thousand dollars a month using their AI avatar to communicate with the people who subscribe to them. So, I mean, it's basically only fans on steroids, only there's, you know, it's not a lot of adult content as far as looks. You know, you have this avatar, you have this, this AI generated image and you have the ability to communicate with this artificial intelligence. It'll go from texting to voicemails and it's all completely fake. And these men are out here, and maybe some women, I don't know, but there's some men out there, a lot of men paying a lot of money, and they have the AI girlfriend. And I'm not sure if these dudes even realize it's fake or they just push it to the back of their mind because they're getting attention, which is what they starve for, that's what they crave. And they don't mind paying whatever it is they're paying a month plus paying for the interaction, you know, with the AI bots. And again, they may believe that this is the real woman. And it goes from normal texting to sexting and to whatever it is. These guys are paying, I believe, per minutes to have this interaction. Yo. Hey, man, game is game. I ain't mad at them because they are making a ton of money. Fellas, y'all need to educate yourself. You need to figure out a way to get some confidence and get out here in the real world and talk to real women. This is just crazy. And we're talking about just interacting via text and voicemail. Just imagine when the robots hit the market. Just imagine when you have the cyborgs hit the market with the, with the AI brain that's learning and giving the purchaser exactly what they're looking for, man, you want to talk about trillion-dollar company. I think that's going to be the first trillion-dollar company. Uh, are women falling for this? I don't know. Possibly. Possibly. I don't know. Um, I'm, you know, we have to go out there and search and see which content creators or what media outlet is looking into that. Can women fall for the catfish? Absolutely. You know, the um, Tinder Swindler is the perfect example of that. They can get, you know, romanced out of their bread, just like these dudes are getting romanced out of their bread. It can happen. I, I just don't know if a woman is going to go with the text and voicemail thing. Maybe, possibly, you know, now that I think about it, you know, older women who aren't getting the attention that they want, I can see them paying money for that but this is crazy guys hey the world ain't no joke <laughs> get your game up gentlemen get out here in the real world and talk to humans talk to humans i mean if you got to get your passport and go to another hemisphere do that but talk to humans i can't say i'm mad at these people who are making money off of these lonely guys but all money ain't good money. That's all I got to say about that. But um, yeah, it was just on my mind. I wanted to put it on. 
Um, just wanted to put it out there. For those of you guys who are wondering where I have been, it's the holiday season. There's a lot going on with the family. And like I said before on um, some of my previous live um, episodes, that I'm not going to be consistent for the month of December. But once New Year's hit, I'm going to be doing what I've always been doing in the past and just getting after it and getting crazy. Uh, I'm trying to figure out exactly what space I'm going to land in. You, you guys know I've been all over the place. And that was by plan, but I think I'm going to stick mainly with this whole dating thing. Um, these young men need to get their game up, and I I think I'm one of the people who can help them. Um, so thanks for hanging in there with me, y'all. I appreciate it. Continue to send me the DMs. I appreciate everyone out there who is uh, looking out for Uncle Saint. I really do. I ain't gone nowhere. I just slowed down for the holidays. We're going to get back into it after the first. We'll be very consistent, and we're going to have some new stuff for you, some in real life stuff. Going to be traveling more. I'm going to have, um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing behind the scenes and other things that I have in the works. So, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Hang in there with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.